Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm Jacques from the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. The heart is a very complex organ and plays a major role in assuring proper circulation of blood, oxygen, and nutrients. Well, getting to the heart of the matter, cardiomyocytes are highly specialized cells that mature with limited cell division after birth. As the heart develops, it has to adapt to various physiological and pathophysiological needs. That's absolutely right. And you know, cardiomyocytes adapt to these challenges by altering the chromatin, microRNA expression, histone proteins, and DNA methylation. Did you know that cardiomyocytes account for only 20 to 30 percent of the cell population in the heart? I didn't know that un until I read this paper by Gilsbach, where they actually studied DNA methylomes of purified cardiomyocytes and cardiomyocytes from failing hearts of mice. If you purify the target cells, it really makes a dramatic difference in the simplicity of the data because they could see some very detailed changes in the methylation patterns. That's absolutely right. And you know, researchers actually observed different DNA methylation patterns between newborn and adult cardiomyocytes, which shows that methylation is a dynamic process during development. Many of the demethylated genes in the embryonic stem cells were sub subsequently methylated in the mature cardiomyocytes. And genic demethylation correlated well not only with active histone marks, but also with increased expression of these cardiomyocyte genes. It was surprising that demethylation was pre-established in newborn cardiomyocytes, and it contained cardiac-specific transcription factor genes. And you know, these pre-established transcription factor binding sites were also poised with histone H3K27 acetylation marks, which is an active mark. The author suggests that the activity of the transcription factors could be a trigger for active DNA demethylation of the enhancer region. That's absolutely right. And you know, as the heart develops, it requires functional adaptation and requires an isoform switch in the expression of sarcomere proteins. Did you know that the word sarc means flesh in Greek? That's, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sarcomere is the basic unit of the muscle. And, you know, researchers find that isoform switching of sarcomere proteins was accompanied by de novo DNA methylation of fetal genes and demethylation of the adult isoform. It's just amazing to see the importance of the DNA methylation to turn off the fetal isoforms of this protein as it, and then it turns on the, the adult isoform. It's exactly true. And, you know, these researchers also studied failing hearts. And in failing hearts, uh, the methylation of disease-associated differentially methylated regions partially resembled the newborn CPG methylation pattern. It's just amazing. It's as though the cells reverted back to their fetal state. Something they're so comfortable going back to. <laughs> Hiding out. Exactly. And you know, this remodeling in response to chronic stress just shows how dynamic DNA methylation can be and how it shapes the phenotype. Y you are right. We're just starting to get a glimpse at how elegant the system really is. It's incredible. In, but unfortunately, we're out of time today. Please do feel free to reach out to us with any questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns. We always love hearing from you. Take care and have a great day. Bye.